So this exhibition is about beautiful, luxurious, opulent objects that were made between 900 and 300 BC. And this is a really interesting period in history because it's a time when great empires rose in the Middle East. And that political stability and also that thirst for wealth and power drove the production of beautiful, luxurious items. They were either difficult to get hold of, made of luxury materials, or involved huge amounts of skill and craftsmanship to make. Uh, and then at the end of the period, you have Alexander the Great comes. And that's really interesting, because that's the point where the, the world, as it was known then, changes. You get the spread of Greek culture over a huge area. So before that, there was a huge diversity in different styles. When you walk around this exhibition, you'll see a lots of variety in shapes and colors and forms. And that changes when Alexander conquers that huge territory. And everything goes Greek. And that seemed like a really good point to, to end the story. And, and what I, I loved about putting together this show was the opportunity to find examples of where people were making fake luxuries. So just as today, where we have fake handbags, fake shoes, uh, in the ancient world, they did this too. So we have um, a text which gives a recipe for making um, a brilliant purple cloth that was very, very expensive in the ancient world. There was a recipe for making a cheaper fake version. Fijándonos en un, en un concepto, en un tema concreto como es el lujo, en esta exposición hablamos de imperios, hablamos de guerras, es decir, hablamos de poder, de política, pero también de objetos personales, eh, de cosmética y eh, también hemos querido dedicar un espacio a lo que es el lujo sensorial, es decir, qué olores, qué sonidos eh, y qué música acompaña también al lujo.